Sparkles can be found under Sassy Library Effects Light. I'll get a Suzanne in here because we're going to need an object to use this on, and we're going to drag and drop this onto our object. So once we do, we can see that we have sparkles, but they're kind of laying flat and sort of pointing against Suzanne's face, and that's because they have an alignment setting. So we can choose a camera to align to, and then just like with the foliage planes, we can move our camera anywhere around, and we always have these flash planes pointing in the right direction. And then we can hit play, they pulse. We can also uh, click this randomize by time, and they will sort of jump around your mesh in different areas. Then of course we have the rate, so we can have them moving faster or slower. We can control the rate that they're pulsing at. So let's maybe not randomize them by time. So you can see they're pulsing really slowly, going faster, the depth that they pulse, so how much. Offset it, so yeah, if the bottom is, you know, if it's going in between, uh, if it's going negative, you can just offset it to make it a little larger or a little smaller. The seed will determine where they uh, spawn. Scale is the size of the effect, and offset is how far off of your mesh you want it to be. So this is another, you can kind of use that as, a, as an effect unto itself, just by offsetting all of the sparkles.